Oh. Please be a perch. Please be a perch. Oh, oh he's ah. Well, we're out and back at it again. Today I'm focusing on a Nico rig and I will be while I make this video. So, Nico is something I've been using more and more recently. It's, I find it a, a really effective method. And it's really underutilised, I think. It's, it's great for pressured fish or, or just fish that aren't feeding. It's, uh, it's super light, it's very weedless. It's a very simple rig. Yeah, what we're actually doing is, is rigging a or a shad or a stick flex or a freaky flex Nico. Yeah, and we do that by just pushing a nail weight into the bottom end of the lure. I like to use what you call a wacky style up, which is a big wide gate hook. But I do, that's a fish. I do use it on the RA shad as well. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, <laughs> gutted. I've been fishing here for about 45 minutes. And I, uh, I decided to do my intro and I've just lost the perch about a pound and a half. It would have been the biggest one I've had at this lake this year. But, uh, this video really, I'm still finding my feet with making videos and whatnot, so I'm just, just getting out and doing some filming. Can't believe I just lost that fish. It was a great little perch. Ooh. I tell you what, you cannot complain fish like that. <laughs> There's that stick flex again. Watermelon black. It's a fantastic colour, really natural. What a fish. Absolute great perch. Now I'm glad I got this one because the one I lost was about the same size. It's a lovely thick fish. Got a lovely belly on it. Yeah. <laughs> Fish don't come much prettier than that, do they? Small fish. Well, I lost my stick flex there, but uh, it was angered and battered in the end. I think that's my last one in that colour as well. This is actually a perfect application in the Nico. We've got a lot of weed out here and a lot of hair algae. You end up with these big mats of weed all over the place. And uh, any other method, you know, to fish it with any other method would be very difficult. But uh, I've been getting by with an eco. I've been finding a couple of fish in the last hour or so, so you know, we're having fun. It's always nice learning a new method. And, you know, it's a method that's really effective and it's one that you need to know really, I think. Guys, stick flex, big Nico. Got a little weight, about, about a gram of tungsten in the bottom of that little nail weight. I'm almost certain I'll get a bite on this. Oh, good perch. That was a hellish bite for a perch. Nice. That's not a bad perch at all. There's that, uh, that Nico rig stick bait. Sun's gonna be a pain. But yeah, it's a great fish. It's that tiny little stream. There we go. Might be a pike. Hit it really hard on the drop.
Christ, it's a small fish. It's about, <laughs> about 10 ton of weed around there. There you go. I'm a lucky with that one. I would show you the the uh, the rest of the lure, but it's in a big pile of weed. It's a fine little pike. You really hit hard on the drop. Yeah, a lot of part of me that thought it could have been a uh, could have been a perch. But... Picture of splashed it on this inside wall. Said there's definitely feeding perch down here, but they're that small, the belly were fishing for. Oh, that's a fish. That one's a little bigger. Oh, just spat the Nika. But yeah, stunning fish in this lake. Also, when I had that fish, then I doubt the wall was on the bottom. Just kind of working in mid. Oh, another one. Just working in mid water like that. Not getting any bigger light, but. Uh, I, I could swap to a small jig head now and a look. Well, saying that, they're definitely having it. That was a really good buy. Again on that gold are you? Look at the shape of this for a tiny perch. He has a really <laughs> he looks like a, like a tiny little three pounder. Real humpback. Again, this is just a perfect application of the eco rig. Oof. It's shallow, weedy as hell, gin clear. You can't really get a more natural presentation or like a, a softer and more subtle presentation than the Nico. Sink super slow. Struck a bit hard on that one. This is a decent fishing game now. I mean, they're not, uh, you know, they're not giants, but you know, they're having it. of a wall here but the water comes through quite quick it's not a slack by any means it definitely slows down there's a bit of backwash really close here Ooh. Right there. Shot. That's a fine fish on a Nico rig out of the river. What a beauty! <laughs> Just a stunning fish. You need a pose in as well. So that 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 orc always gets a uh, just gets a great hold. Yeah, it's a fine fish. Fishing you don't really need to jig, you can literally just, just wiggle. I'm not so much wiggling as I'm creating a little bit of slack and then tapping the line. So I'm like flicking it tight. Do, 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 do. And yeah, it just creates loads of action in the water and the less it's in again. Just kicks it up waffles in. I don't know what we call the action, I'm gonna go with fluffle. It's what I envision a Nico Rigolo doing. Like a wacky rig. Just fluffling about. Oh. Please be a perch. Please be a perch. Oh, holy ah. shit. Oh, 
Now that is a perch. <laughs> Caught it on the Nico. Fortunately, he's the, he took the R A shot. <laughs> like I said, it's a, they're not two pieces. Sometimes they pull off. I need to get some bands for them. While well, fishing the Nico rig, first time I've caught a good fish on it in the river. With mean, some fish, you know, you can't really make them look small. But uh, yeah, what an absolute monster! So good to catch on the Nico. I love the Nico rig. Absolute great fish. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm having some water. I'll get a weight on it a minute. Imagine it's a three, close to a three. Yeah, it'll be a three, I imagine. 